Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video in programming the finite limit method using MATLAB. In this video we are going to add or cause the controller to add a line. So we have successfully programmed adding node to the controller and now we are going to program adding a line. Now if you are new to this video series please take a look at the link I'll be posting on the top right. This includes First of all, the introduction to the finite element method, this is a separate playlist, and then another playlist that includes the series here in order. So take a look on that if you found this video by chance and you want to know exactly how we got here. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright, now I will basically collapse this function because I know what this does, this str node. You can collapse and expand functions by pushing the plus button here. Now I'm going to define me a new function called function line equals add str line. Now what do I want him to do when he wants to add an str line? Well, first of all, I must pass itself, the object, which is the controller, and then let's think what the user is going to pass. For now, I will let the user pass only the node 1 and node 2, the starting node and the ending node of the line. There is more to this because the user must uh, pass the section and the material and so on. But for now, I'm gonna pass node one, I'm gonna pass node two, and I will end this. So now the line must be defined, it must be given back to the user, and it must be stored. Now, I will assume that the user will never ever add a duplicate line because it's not something that covers for meshing, it's something that the user will do by his own hand. So maybe I should add myself a reminder to check for duplicate lines, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that for now. I'll keep this for later. So here, let's take a look. Now, first of all, we need to deal with the ID. So as we have done before, I will say object.str line ID. This is gonna equal object.str line ID plus one. Remember, you cannot use the plus plus notation of C sharp. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna say, because I want to keep the style the same, I'm gonna say the ID is gonna equal to object.strline ID. You could jump over this uh, thing and just use this directly, but I like to have things neat. And then finally, I'm going to create a line by calling the constructor of the strline and looking what he needs. He needs the ID, check, node one, check, node two, check. In the end, I'm gonna store this, so I'll call str or object, dot the str lines storage. This is gonna equal the old storage, added to it the new line. So I think this should be working, but only one way to find out. I'll go to main, let's just delete those things, and let's just add us a line. So I'd say here, line one equals controller dot add str line, and it needs of course node one and node two, as we said before. And then maybe I could call line one dot to string to see if everything has happened or not. So f five, Nothing works, it seems, no appropriate method. That's very odd, I thought I had one. Really? Add str, oh, capital letter, silly me. Let's run again. So yeah, there we go, it works. So what happens here is, node one is defined, node two is defined, line one gets defined using node one, node two. So when I call the line one to identify itself, it says, I am line one, and I have node one and node two at my disposal, so this is, so this is perfect. Maybe I should add a duplication check because we are already there. So how would I add a duplication check? I don't want to copy paste code because whenever you copy paste code, those are signs of bad coding. Now, how do you know if you have duplicate lines? If you have a line that has node one already existing, the same node one, and node two already existing, the same node two, then this is an indication that you have duplicate lines. So how do I do that? Hmm. Well, I think I have an idea. So I'll say here for, and I will call it i equals from one to length of object dot str line. So we're running a for loop. Remember, this is equivalent to this. And I've explained this in the previous video. Take a look to understand the difference between the for loop in MATLAB and the for loop in C sharp. In MATLAB, we are starting our counting at one not at zero like other programming languages. All right, so I'm going to check every str line, right? So how would I do that? Uh, first of all, I will call existing line to capture the object str lines, 
of i. So I'm now taking out the existing line. And now, oh, uh, bad habits. In MATLAB, you should use those parentheses instead of brackets. Now I must compare. So if the existing line dot node one dot id, so if the id of the first node is the same as the id of the first node you're adding right now, and dot 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 existing line dot node two dot id equals node two dot id, then let's duplicate. And I should just line equals existing line, and I should return the line. That's it. Oh, I don't need to say return line. Return and that's it. This is how MATLAB works. Now, I need an end for this if statement, I guess. So that should work. Now, there is another problem. You see, this eliminates duplication if I add the line in the same direction of the existing line. But if I add the line in the opposite direction of the existing line, then this will cause a problem. I can add an OR statement here, or I can just add a standalone IF statement. I will add me a standalone IF statement. So if node 2 equals node 1, and node 1 equals node 2, this means I am applying an opposite line, then it should also basically refuse. So, yeah, this should be working. Let's put this to the test. Now I'm going to add me here a node 3, and I'm going to say controller.addSTR node of 5, 5, and 5, just a dummy node. Now here I'm adding line 1, and I'm adding then line 2. Let's add it again. Now this line 2 should not be added, because I'm using the same nodes again. Then I'm going to try add line 3, but this time I'm going to try to trick him, and I'm going to use the opposite order of the nodes. And then I will ask him to add line 4, where I do it for reals now. And I ask him to have 2 to 3. Now, what I'm expecting is that when I call to string, I would only see line number 1 and line number 2. Where line number 2 is actually this one. So let's F5 and see. Let's take a look. Now, line number 1 is this. Works perfectly because it takes, takes node 1, node 2. Line 2 doesn't get defined so far because you're duplicating things. So this, despite the fact the variable name is line 2, in reality, the line is line 1 because what happens is the STR controller gives you back line 1 because it exists. So that's why in the second time when you ask this to identify itself, it says I'm still line 1. For the third one, you should have the same dilemma, which is this one. And yeah, you can see here, let me show you. This is the third one. And because you're using the nodes in opposite order, this still gets detected because you're detecting opposite orders too. And then finally in line four, that's a new line and that's why it gets defined. Okay, everything seems to be fantastic. So I think we are very happy with what you're doing. Now, once again, the source code of this is available to my dear channel members. But of course, for the normal DVOs, you can actually follow along and write the code yourself. It's very easy. So yeah, that's everything I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed. And in the end, I want to give a linear size shout out to my dear channel members in the contributor level and the helper level whose names are going to be shown on the screen. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart as the support of the channel is priceless to me and enables me to provide you with videos hopefully on time and with a certain quality I try to achieve and for that, I am forever thankful. In the end, I hope that you enjoyed the video and you found it beneficial. If you have enjoyed the video, then please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and so on. Especially subscribing, because it helps increase the reach of my channel. As per usual, this is the Civil Engineering Essentials channel, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.